Hey, what's going on guys? Brustboat Productions here, and today I've got a Mortal Kombat X topic video for you guys. Now, I know the MKX comic is out today, and you're probably asking where are my comic reviews. Well, I feel like it's pointless to do since Uncage already does it, so if you guys want to see the Mortal Kombat X comic reviews and videos, then go ahead and click the link in the description uh, to go check out his channel. So anyways, without further ado, let's get on with today's topic. Now today's topic have got a lot of people thinking a lot, and that's the whole alternate skins deal. People think that the variations are the alternate skins, and I'm here to tell you guys that the variations are not going to be changing the costume. It was confirmed a long time ago by Ed Boon that there will be alternate skins. Now I'm here to talk about how many alternate skins to expect in the game in default, and what kind of DLC skins to expect, or at least what I expect and what I would like to see. Now when the game first comes out, I expect the players to have three skins. Uh, two being the alternates, the first will be the costume they first appear in, and then the second one will be the second costume that they appear in in the story and stuff, like Raiden, how he had two costumes in the story, one being the Dark Raiden, and one being the Light version, or the Light Raiden, whatever you call it. And then in their third one, I expect it to be their MK9 costume for the characters who return from MK9 that are in MKX. I'm expecting to get that out of the game in default. Now, I do think that you have to unlock the two skins in the crypt like you always do, but I'm hoping you could like unlock the skins while you're playing the story. Like when you're playing the story, like it'll interrupt you saying you have unlocked the skin and stuff like that. I'm hoping that's the deal, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to unlock it in the crypt. But now to talk about DLC skins in MKX. Now if you look at MK9, there are not that many skins compared to Injustice. MK9 had about, I believe, 3 or 4 skin packs, and Injustice had a crazy amount, such as the New 52 skin pack, the Blackest Knight skin pack 1, the Blackest Knight skin pack 2, Flashpoint skin pack, the Teen Titan skin pack, and the list goes on a crazy amount. Now I think it's gonna work like that in MKX. Um, I think there will be skin packs named like this. Um, the MK4 skin pack, the Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance skin pack, and the Mortal Kombat Deception skin pack. And all those characters that are in MKX, and if they were in those games, then you will have that skin. For example, if you have bought the Deadly Alliance skin pack, then you can play as Kung Lao, Raiden, and others in their Deadly Alliance costumes in MKX. That's how I think it's going to work. I also think that the class of skins will be coming back for MKX. For characters such as Scorpion, Reptile, Ermac, and Sub-Zero, you know what I mean, the classic characters. No, I'm not saying this is how the DLC skins will work out, I'm pretty much just putting my speculation on it. But I'm hoping to god that this will happen because I think it would be pretty awesome. So Netherrealm, if you're watching this, make it happen. But anyways, would you like to see this happen in MKX? What kind of skins would you like to see in MKX? Leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you haven't seen my latest podcast about the Mortal Kombat X story speculation with my friend Nekfamous, then go ahead and check it out, link will be in the description. And if you want to see those kind of podcasts with JWAR, then go to the two links down below and vote for me. Comment number three on the video link and vote for me on the straw poll link. And if you are new to my channel, then you are in the right place for Mortal Kombat X content. So make sure to subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter and like my brand new Facebook page. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. My name is Brust Poet Productions, and I'm out for now.